All right, hopefully I'm broadcasting here. Ain't gonna live stream in a little bit. And let's see. Let's see where we're at. Is anybody online? I'm trying to do some live audio commentary for this Vasyl Lomachenko fight against Miguel Mariaga. All right. Yes, hello. Let me sort out my settings, bro. I can see one person is locked in. Makesh Chris. What's good, bro? All right, let me sort out these um, stream settings here. Couple people watching now, 28 people. Big up, everyone. Depending on where you are in the world, it might be some un ungodly time. <laughs> So, yeah, big up everyone for locking in. We saw out the stream here, people. All right. Now let me mute this. All right, a few more people locked in. Showcase, not fight. <laughs> I hear that. Yes, big fan of your vid videos. Yeah, big up, big up. McGregor, what's up? What's up, bro? Larry Daniel, big up as well. Right, excuse me for just a few seconds while I sort out the stream settings as I always have to do. Just excuse me for a few seconds. Alright. Sort these settings out. They don't make it easy for you for some reason on um on YouTube to stream from PS4 anyway to, to sort out all the settings before you start streaming it's a little bit fiddly Vasyl Lomachenko versus Miguel Mariaga how long is this fight going to go people will it go the distance how's Lomachenko going to look I remember Mariaga fighting who did he fight he fought the axe man Nicholas Waters I remember, I remember that fight. Let's sort out some things here, people. All right. I will get to your comments in just a second if you hold tight. I'll be with you in just a second. Sorting out these YouTube settings here in the stream. Make sure this thing runs smoothly. Uh... Where we at? Where we at? Okay, that's all in order. Yep. Select that. Save. Mm -hmm. What are you guys watching on? Who's watching on Box Nation? Who's watching on whatever it is? Top Rank or whoever's screening this? ESPN? What are you guys watching on? Okay, we're live in effect. We're streaming here. One more setting I'm looking for here. Where is it? Where is it? Can't seem to find it. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Right, I'll be with you guys in just a second. Nearly done. All right, that should do it. View on watch page. All right, Lomachenko. This guy must be the best dressed boxer in the game right now in terms of his ring attire. The shorts that he wears, the gloves, you know, his get up that he walks to the ring in. I always like his gloves. I think the gloves that he wore for, which fight was it? Was it the... um? 
I think it was the Nicholas Waters fight. The blue gloves that he wore for them, the the for that fight, the rival gloves. Wicked looking gloves. I'm not really someone that really cares too much about gloves and you know <clears throat> the boxing trunks and all that kind of stuff, but you know, Lomachenko stuff is, is good. It look good. Right, here we go. All right, now let me catch up with some of your comments here. Yes, Nikki Dungeons, big up. Blade, big up. Fernando, NY, big up. I'm trying to get to everybody. Manny Ribeira, Iraqi Genetics, Motion Alex, Fernando Ortiz, big up, big up, big up. <laughs> H-Man, ODT Open up them both teasers, that's right Well, McCree Lomo needs unification, definitely McGregor says, I think Lomo will stop him in round 10 Mariaga has a pretty good chin Yeah, I remember him being pretty tough Pretty tough guy 10 you out says, did you see Dylan's AFO interview? Yeah, I saw it <laughs> It's Dylan Dylan is something else, man. Argos. Yeah, he's something else. He loves the drama. Muhammad Ahmed. Big up. John Kennedy. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dane Horn says, what do you think about Joseph Parker? Um, there's a lot of mixed feelings about Joseph Parker. Among boxing fans. Me personally, I think he's a good fighter. I thought he beat Andy Ruiz. I thought he beat uh, Carlos Takam. I didn't see any issue with those decisions, to be honest. I think the fans are a little bit harsh on him. I'm not saying he's an invincible fighter at all. But I do think he's good. We've seen Anthony Joshua hurt. We've seen Deontay Wilder. You know, get rocked a little bit a few times and he was dropped early in his career. There's no footage of it, but he was dropped early in his career. We've never seen Joseph Parker dropped. We've never seen him seriously hurt. He was tired a little bit in the Takam fight, but he's never been hurt. So he hasn't shown vulnerability in terms of punch resistance that Joshua and Wilder have shown. So that's one thing we can say about him, to be fair to him. How big of an upset would this be if Mariaga beats Lomachenko? Pretty big upset, given the fact that Lomachenko's on a lot of people's pound for pound list. That'd be a pretty big upset. I like Lomachenko. Wow. <laughs> 1 to 44 to win. So, yeah, that would be a very big shock. A very big shock. B-Rabbit says Parker versus Pulev. Who wins? That's a good fight. I'm going to say Parker wins. But it's a good fight. Pulev has got a very good jab. He's a very awkward guy to fight at long range. UK Boxing YT. Hatman, what do you think about Lomachenko moving up to fight Garcia after this? I'll be surprised if the fight happens. Lomachenko seems like he wants it. I saw the little face-to-face -face he had with Garcia. But Bob Arum is not saying the right things. Bob Arum is saying that Garcia wants too much money. And then Garcia is saying, well, I've never sat down with Bob Arum to discuss money. So how can he say that I want too much money when we've never discussed it? Bob Arum is just not saying the right things. I'm not sure if Arum is going to allow Lomachenko to... Step in the ring with Garcia Given the fact that Aram Had an acrimonious split with Garcia They didn't part on good terms Garcia was out of the ring for two years So clearly You know Aram is not exactly fond of Garcia Does he really want to risk Putting Lomachenko in with Garcia And possibly losing to a guy Who he don't particularly care for That he's had Business issues with in the past The guy that used to be with him With his promotional company So I don't know, man. I'd be surprised if Aram 
allows that fight to happen. Do I think Dylan White can do things at world level? As long as the belts remain fractured, yeah. Yeah, I do. I think Dylan White versus Joseph Parker is a good fight. I think it's a good fight. I don't think that's an easy fight for Parker. You know, Parker had a tough time with Takam. And Takam and White have both got their strengths and weaknesses. But I can see Dylan White pushing Parker the way that Takam pushed him. I can see that. Maybe even winning the fight, you know. T.S. One triple nine says, would Hay versus Parker still be a good matchup? I doubt it right now. Hay looked terrible against Bellew. Imagine if that was Parker in the ring against Hay instead of Bellew. Imagine what would have happened to David Hay. <laughs> I mean, Hay was saying that in, there was an interview where Hay was talking about, imagine if it was Joshua in the ring instead of Bellew. He said, I would have been sleeping if that was Joshua in there instead of Bellew. But Bellew can't punch hard, so I was all right. <laughs> That's what David Hay said. So similar situation with if Parker was in the ring instead of Bellew, oh my gosh, it would have been ugly. But we have to see what David Hay's like when he comes back, if he's got anything left at all. Because oh my gosh, look at me missing the fight. <laughs> I just missed like the first minute or something of this fight. First couple minutes, it's underway. See, I was too busy looking at the comments. <laughs> All right, one minute left in round one. Vasilomachenko against Mariaga. I mean, Mariaga's a little guy. I remember watching the fight that he had with um, with the axe man, Nicholas Waters, and I remember thinking he, he looked small then. And if anything, Lomachenko looked bigger than the Axeman when they fought. So, yeah, Mariaga's looking even smaller now. I don't know what his strategy is going to be in this fight, but <laughs> it's going to have to be a genius strategy to get past this. I'm not sure if you can um, post streams in the comments here. I don't know if YouTube allows it, but if somebody has a stream, you can post it. Um... I'm watching a stream called buffstream.com forward slash watch forward slash boxing dot php yeah buffstream.com that's what I'm on and it's a very good stream like this is a HD stream alright end of round one let's see what the comments are saying someone got a stream Joseph Parker's speed and skills is good and his power is still there and his chin is the best yeah he seems to have good whiskers Joseph Parker um, but to, just to carry on about Lomachenko moving up to face Garcia at lightweight I'd be surprised if it happens if it did happen I'd actually be favouring Garcia especially after seeing him face to face Garcia is so much bigger like his body frame looks massive next to Lomachenko not just his head because people talk about Garcia having a big head yeah his head looked big next to Lomachenko but even his body the width of his shoulders everything he just looked huge next to Lomachenko and he's sharp you know Garcia is not slow he's not slow you don't have Lomachenko's volume but he's not a slow guy by any means all right start around two Lomachenko comes out doing the, the Lomachenko thing in red, yellow, and white. With the matching rival gloves and the matching... What are those? Adidas boots? Reeboks? Asics? I'm not sure. I can't see. Let me make my screen larger so I can see what kind of boots this guy's wearing. Because let's face it, this fight is not very competitive, so I might as well comment on his boots. <laughs> Lomachenko doing his thing, looking for those angles. Mariaga trying to get off a right hand. Did he land there? Yeah, Lomachenko doing all that tricky foot movement there. 
stepping off to the side, back and forth, confusing the guy. It's like I've said previously, Lomachenko kind of hypnotizes you with his movement. Nice body shot there from Lomachenko, the right hook. He hypnotizes you. His movement is so constant and frenetic and side to side and in and out. And he's always moving his hands as well. Upper body movement, foot movement, coming around with different angles. Eventually, it mentally fatigues the opponent. They just get baffled and confused by what he's doing. They can't keep up with it. They can't hold their concentration on all the things that he's doing. It's just too much. Look at all the angles that he's looking for. Uppercuts, straight shots, hooks, body shots. Every shot you could think of, Lomachenko's looking for it. It will be interesting though to see him move up to lightweight because that was his weight in the amateurs. Lomachenko's big for these weight divisions here. He's big. I thought that Axeman would be bigger than Lomachenko, but no, he looked bigger than Axeman. So he's big for these weight divisions. Lightweight is probably his real natural division. So we'll see what he's like in that division, what he can do. It's not exactly the hottest division right now, lightweight. You do have... Uh, what's his name now at lightweight? Linares, who's... You know, he's, he's okay. I don't really rate him that highly. I don't think he's as good as Eddie Hearn makes him out to be. But he's skilled. He's just vulnerable. So he's there. You've obviously got Flanagan still there. Garcia... Well, he's willing to calm down again. Mariaga actually landed a nice little shot there, to be fair. A little right hand over the top. It was getting a bit too easy for Lomachenko and he got caught with a shot there. Is that the rival guy in Lomachenko's corner? I swear that's the guy that owns rival. <laughs> if any of you guys know, like that's the guy that owns rival, isn't it? That's in Lomachenko's corner. I didn't know... I didn't know that guy worked with Lomachenko like that. The guy that owns Rival. Mm. I forget his name. Canadian guy. Maybe that's why Lomachenko's always got the sick hookup with all his gloves. The custom Rival gloves because he's close friends with that Rival guy. Anyway, let me see some of these comments here, people. Um... Mariaga only has a puncher's chance, so we better get risky. Agreed. Charlie Brown Boxing. I'm watching the stream you're watching and I turned it down, so I'm listening to your commentary. Big up. Big up, big up, big up. TS1999. Is it possible Miller don't want to fight in the UK because of drug testing? That is possible. I mean, he did fail a drug test in kickboxing, so maybe. Maybe. The problem Mariaga is having is he is not coming forward. The way to beat the man is to smother him, Sean Porter style or Orlando Salido style. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. But maybe Mariaga is not very good at that or maybe he just not as strong as Lomachenko. Uh, sorry, not as strong as Salido. What would you like to see next for Lomachenko? Um... All right, here we are, round three. Look at me missing the <laughs> missing again here. Lomachenko doing his thing. What would I like to see next from him? I personally would like to see the Salido rematch. There seems to be difficulty making, you know, getting it made. But just to clear up that chapter in his career with Lomachenko uh, with um Salido, I'd like to see him have the the Salido rematch if it can be made, and then move on from there. Because when you're talking about building a legacy, you don't want there to be any unanswered questions. If it's at the end of your career and you're an old man and you get beat a couple times and you don't avenge those losses, that's not as bad because you was an old man. So nobody's really going to pay too much attention to those kind of losses. You know, his Historians are going to look at what you did in your prime or around your prime. But for Lomachenko to have a defeat like that, and yeah, it was early in his career, very early, but still, I'd like to see him avenge that defeat if he can. 
you know, a, a while ago I was thinking about Lomachenko versus Gamboa, but Gamboa seems to be totally shot now. So I think we can forget about that. The Garcia fight is a fight I like. It is a fight I like. I'd like to see it. The Linares fight is not bad. Oh, good shots there. Was that a knockdown or was it a slip? Okay, he's calling it a knockdown. We'll have to see him replay whether he got hit in the head or he got hit in the chest. That shot, that shot might hit him in the chest. <laughs> Look at Lomachenko about come for me. <laughs> He's, he's got a touch of the Muhammad Ali's about him, Lomachenko, you know. Look at him, come for me. That didn't do nothing. <laughs> he's clowning him. He's clowning him. He's trying to put the special effects on it. All right, we'll see. We'll see the replay. Lomachenko's just having a laugh in there, man. He's having a giggle. <laughs> Beltran, okay, yeah, well, Beltran's on the undercard, so, yeah, I forgot to even talk about Beltran. <laughs> yeah, but Gamboa's getting stretched out by Gatekeep. What the hell happened to Gamboa? Sad story, really. He lost his best years signing to 50 Cent. Okay, let's see that replay again. Where did that punch land? Was it in his chest? Was it in his head? It land. Yeah, it's a good shot. I don't know what my man's complaining about. That was a good punch. Why is it Mariaga acting like it, it won a knockdown? It was a knockdown. <laughs> this guy's on something, man. It was a perfectly legitimate knockdown. What's he talking about? Even if the shot didn't hit him in the head and it hit him in the chest, that still would have been a legit knock knockdown. All right, here we go. Round four, two minutes, 37 seconds in. He's dropped Mariaga, he's clowning him. It's all very, very easy right now. And at this stage, I agree with what some of you guys are saying Mariaga really has to come forward but he's such a small guy compared to Lomachenko does he really have the strength to do it but then again I mean he has to gamble now isn't it because what he's doing right now is not working so come forward swing try and land a haymaker at the moment he still seems to be using some type of well trying to use some type of science He's hoping to catch Lomachenko over committing or catch him being sloppy with a big right hand. Waiting for his opportunity on the back foot. But while he's waiting for his opportunity, he's getting cracked. <laughs> and that's chipping away at his resilience. So it, to be fair, his, his head movement is quite good. Mariaga, he is slipping a lot of the shots and blocking and whatnot, but some of them are getting through. And you just get the impression that he's exerting more energy trying to get away from Lomachenko than Lomachenko is exerting going after him. That's the impression I get. Oh, I think there was a clash of heads there. Lomachenko cut. Yeah, Lomachenko's cut by the corner of the eye from a clash of heads. That was more Lomachenko's fault, really. Not like Lomachenko was trying to headbutt Mariaga, no. But he was just a little too free and easy going in there against a shorter guy. And that can happen. You can, you know, catch your eye on the top of the shorter guy's head. Especially the way Lomachenko is constantly moving around and Mariaga is constantly moving around. Will that spur Mariaga on? He's letting the right hand go. He's going for that eye. <laughs> he has to whoa he nearly slipped on some water there in the corner good sportsmanship from Lomachenko not going for him at that, no, at that moment he would have been well within his rights too it seems to have spurred Lomachenko on more than anything he seems to be loading up and going for the knockout more so than he was before he was cut good body shot good left hand by Lomachenko 
Doubled up with the left. End of the round. Mariago's got nothing to lose. Yep. If Vassal is showboating, make the fight dirty. Fight Vassal like Sean Porter does. I hear that, but I just feel like it's easier said than done. B Rabbit, Hatman excited for undisputed super lightweight champ. Definitely, definitely. Terrence Crawford versus Julius and Dongo. Let's get it done. Let's see who's going to become the undisputed champion. The only undisputed champion in boxing at the moment. UK Boxing YT says Lomachenko. If Lomachenko does go up to fight Garcia, I think Aaron would want him to win a world title at lightweight first. So the fight makes more money. Yeah, risk reward. Risk reward. Bob Aram is not the force in boxing that he used to be. So, you know, any of his stars or potential stars, if they're going to be taking risks, he wants to be benefiting from it financially in a major way. You don't want to be risking it without a serious financial reward and how much money do you think Aram is really making from guys like Lomachenko I can't imagine it's too much guys at this weight class they don't tend to make that much money alright let's see what Lomachenko can do here Lomachenko switching orthodox briefly there blister in hand speed upper body movement jabs Lomachenko just works at such a ridiculously fast speed. Like his brain, <laughs> he's like Neo in the Matrix, man. His brain just works at a next speed. It's ridiculous. He, he kind of, in some ways, reminds me of a young Pacquiao, but with much better fundamentals and much more skills all round. But just the energy that he, he has is kind of like a young Pacquiao. And the incessant movement, you know. He's, he's much more fundamentally sound than Pacquiao. He's certainly not the puncher that Pacquiao was. But that kind of energy and constant frenetic movement is like Pacquiao. Mariaga moving his head all over the damn place here. <laughs> Lomachenko clowning him again. I mean, Mariaga must be burning up a lot of energy with all this movement himself. And it's always a case of the guy who's under pressure, who's moving more than he wants to move, who's not choosing to move as much as this. He's doing it because he has to, because he's under pressure. That guy tends to get tired more so than the guy who's applying the pressure. Because the guy who's applying the pressure is punching when he wants to punch. He's not under pressure to punch. So you'd imagine that Mariaga is going to get tired before Lomachenko here. But them, them cuts on his eyes, they don't look good. He's got damage on, on both eyes. <laughs> got Mariaga's head movement, man. Is he really hoping that Lomachenko gets tired? I'd be surprised if it... You never know, but I'd be surprised if it happens. I think Mariaga's going to get tired first. <clears throat> There are going to be some people on this live stream saying, Hatman, have you just smoked a joint or a <laughs> hundred cigarettes? I always sound different on this microphone because it's just a little shitty PlayStation microphone. This is not the mic I use to record my videos. So it has a different dynamic range and therefore it picks up different parts of my voice. So yeah, my voice does sound different on this little shitty <laughs> PlayStation microphone. I can assure you I do not smoke. Lomachenko clowning him there in an instant replay. <laughs> Tapping his head. Right, let's get to some of your comments here. <laughs> Bob Aram is a cock. <laughs> ESPN commentary is so shit. 
ESP and commentary has to be the worst out there. Looks like a fake pity patty fight. Mm, I think someone wants to join the block party. <laughs> yup. DW International says, now I'm thinking Mikey Garcia has a better chance to beat Chenko. Mm. I think Mikey has a good chance. I'd actually pick Mikey. Because Mikey's skilled. He's got fast hands. He's explosive. He can punch like a flipping mule kicks. He's got good poise. Good solid fundamentals, Mikey. He, he's a lot bigger than Lomachenko. <laughs> I tell you that now, a lot bigger. When I saw them face to face, man... I was surprised how much bigger Mikey Garcia looked. And that's not like Mikey Garcia's put on a bunch of weight because he only just fought last weekend. So he's still around about his fight weight now. And he looked way bigger than Lomachenko. All right, let's see what Lomachenko can do here. He's pissed off that he's got cut. One minute, 52 seconds into round six. Mariaga just come with a hope and a prayer, really. He hasn't come with much of a a game plan, certainly not a very effective game plan so far. He just come with a hope and a prayer of landing a bolt from the blue. But Lomachenko lost what one fight in like three or four hundred amateur fights, something crazy like that. If he had a chin that was vulnerable enough for Mariaga to knock him out with a, a bolt from the blue, then uh, surely there'd be some sign of that during his amateur career, even his pro career so far. But there's been none of that. Lomachenko hasn't shown any vulnerability in terms of punch resistance. So yeah, Mariaga. Hmm. You know, Mariaga has some good defensive skills, <laughs> even though he's in just pure survival mode. So he's only really thinking about defense, but still, he does have pretty good survival skills here. Good defensive skills, survival skills, constantly moving his head. And because he's short, he's a very awkward target, but I can see him slowing down here. Lomachenko's banging in those right hooks to the body, making it physical. Nice uppercut, right hand uppercut from. Did that hurt Mariaga? I think it might have stunned him. Another nice left hand from Lomachenko. He's on top of this boy. Oh, oh, oh. Good shots from Lomachenko. 19 seconds left in the six. Another right hook lands from Lomachenko. A left hand lands. Not letting Mariaga off the hook. Mariaga's a tough cookie. <laughs> He's a tough cookie. Somebody said that in the comments a while ago. He's a tough cookie. But he's going to need to be. This was around the time when Nicholas Waters quit. There's Terence Crawford in the crowd there. Be in action in a couple of weeks' time. Unification against Indongo. Good stuff. TC on pretty much everybody's pound for pound list. Very talented fighter. Apparently, he fought Mikey Garcia a few times in the amateurs and I think beat him the majority of times that they fought. I think Mikey might have a win over him. I don't claim to be any expert on Terence Crawford's amateur record or Mikey Garcia's amateur record, but that's what I read somewhere. Some of you guys might know might know more about it than me. All right, we're going to go into the seventh. How long can Mariaga last here? <laughs> He's been getting lit up like a Christmas tree. Seventh round. Let's see. What can Mariaga do? Can Lomachenko get him out of there? At this stage, it looks like he he should be able to get him out of there if he keeps applying the same pressure he was applying in the last round. The fitness level of Lomachenko is just insane. To fight at this kind of pace, throw this many... I know he's a little guy, and little guys can throw a lot of punches. But even for a little guy... The movement, the work rate, upper body movement, foot movement, power shot. I mean, it, 
the fitness level is ridiculous sinking the body surely, surely Mariaga can't last the distance here he's getting lit up man he's slowing down his head movement is not where it used to be he's catching uppercuts and hooks 1 minute 54 left in the 7th Mariaga needs to throw something back he's just a punch bag at this stage he needs to keep slinging them big right hands over Nah, man, he's getting lit up. The referee's going to stop this fight soon, you know. I can see the referee looking close. If it carries on like this, the referee's just going to step in and say, you know what, you're not punching back. He's not, you know, out on his feet or anything, but he's just being overwhelmed at this stage. He's looking like a typical Lomachenko opponent, totally hypnotized by the movement, can't keep up with it, can't stay concentrated on the incessant, frenetic movement of Lomachenko. It just... It hypnotizes these guys. They just can't stay concentrated on what he's doing. Mariaga comes in and holds. He had to. He was just totally confused there by how quick Lomachenko was working. It's like his brain works four or five times faster than most other fighters. Yeah, that referee is looking like he wants to step in. Mariaga needs to throw something back. He's moving his head. He needs to throw something back if he wants to stay in there. Because this fight is not going to last much longer. Yeah, Lomachenko letting him come. He say, come forward. <laughs> come forward. Do something. <laughs> Mariaga finally lets a shot go and I swear it was low. <laughs> he is just baffled right now, Mariaga. Did he land a left hook there? If he did, it didn't do nothing. It's like Lomachenko's kind of let him off a hook a little bit here. Maybe he's taking a breather because, jeez, he throws a lot of shots, this guy. He is a different kind of sharp, man. Blurring speed. Are they calling that a knockdown? I guess they are. I didn't see whether that left hand, he was so quick, I didn't see whether the left hand landed on his head or whether it caught his glove. The referee having a close look. Are you okay? You want to continue? Yup. Mariaga says he's good to go. Say by the bell. Like Screech and Zack, say by the bell. Are they calling a the fight? Are they calling a the fight? I see some people in the corner there. Are they stopping it? Ah, they stopped the fight. They stopped the fight. There you go. At the end of the seventh round. I guess it was the commission or Mariaga's team or whoever it was. They stopped the fight. Enough was enough. Their fighter could not take it. What can you say, man? Lomachenko marches on, beats the crap out of Mariaga. Onwards and upwards. I see who they match him up with again next. Good stoppage, really, by the corner or whoever it was that stopped it because... There was no way in a million years he was going to win that fight. <laughs> he was never going to win that fight. So, you know. Why send him out for further punishment? He was slowing down. He was getting caught. And, uh, yeah. A good stoppage by his people. A good stoppage. Trouser Python says onwards and downwards while he's with top rank. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that Bob Arum can't do a good job with some fighters. Bob Arum ain't what he used to be, but, you know, he might still be able to do something with certain fighters. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to completely condemn Bob. Uncle Bob Aram. Yeah, he carried him late. He did carry him late. 
I'm going to switch to UFC. I don't watch UFC. I respect UFC, but I don't watch that sport like that. We'd like to see Javonta Davis fight Lomachenko. Floyd ain't letting it happen. Floyd is never letting Javonta Davis go anywhere near Lomachenko. That's why I don't even talk about it. Because Floyd made it very clear from the beginning that he was going to protect Javonta Davis from Lomachenko. So, there's no, no, no point talking about it. Rene Aliyah says, Loma is overrated. Look what a C-class fighter making a miss all over the place. Well, he's throwing a lot of punches. <laughs> you know, I, I don't agree with that comment there. I don't think Lomachenko's overrated. I think he's a fantastic fighter. Mariaga had very good head movement and he was in survival mode, so... Trust me, when you're in there with a guy who moves his head as much as Mariaga and he don't want to get hit, it's hard to hit him. <laughs> it's hard. All right, people, thank you for locking in. I'm going to end this live stream right here, do my post-fight video. Catch you guys on the next live stream. Big up everyone for locking in, yeah? Much appreciated. I'm out.